At the end of April, everybody flipped out over some rumors that people with higher credit were gonna end up paying more for mortgage loans with some new loan level price adjustments that were going into effect on May 1st. Well, squeaky wheel gets the grease because it turns out some of those have now been delayed and even suspended. Let's start by defining an LLPA, a loan level price adjustment. According to Bank South Mortgages, LLPAs are an extra fee lenders may apply to a mortgage loan based on specific factors. This fee helps lenders manage the risk associated with lending money to borrowers, ensuring that the mortgage market remains stable. So of course, the internet went crazy and as per usual, some really bad advice was given out. I actually saw some realtors posting videos talking about how you should tank your credit score so that you don't have to pay the higher fees from these LLPAs. And these are the times when I'm really glad that I have a journalism degree to fall back on. Because when the internet enrages me, before I become a keyboard warrior, I like to do some research. So I took a class, I spoke to several lenders, and I read several articles. The basic gist is that fees were changing for everybody. What you really need to know is that if you have a lower credit score, you're still paying an overall higher fee than people with a higher credit score, the gap is just smaller. So if you hear nothing else, please don't tank your credit on purpose because that is just the worst idea ever for so many reasons. But according to a couple local lenders that I spoke with, it sounds like one of the scariest LLPAs was actually suspended. And that was the one that has to do with your debt to income ratio. Now your debt to income ratio or DTI has to do with how much money you're bringing in versus how much debt you're carrying, and lenders will calculate that difference to determine what your mortgage payment can be, thus how much money you can spend on a house. What's hard about doing a loan level price adjustment on DTI is that it's a moving target. If you get paid a little bit differently, either bi-weekly or monthly, or if rates change, it could dramatically affect what these LLPAs were set to do. So it seems, at least for now, that they've walked back this LLPA. But one change that did stick that I think is important to note is the credit tiers. So before these changes took place, having a credit score in the 700s was really good, especially if you had a 760. That was a tier where you could get better rates. Well, now that tier has been bumped up to 780 and above. So a top tier credit score has to be much closer to 800, where as before, 760 would have gotten you there. Now, 760 is still a really great credit score, but now when it comes to getting a conventional loan, it's not gonna get you the best rates possible. And keep in mind, these LLPAs are only affecting conventional loans. So I think it's gonna be really interesting to see if there's an uptick in VA, FHA, or USDA loans, which are not affected by this. The really big takeaway from this is one simple thing. Make sure you're working with a really good local lender. Because here's what's gonna happen. These fees are changing and the average borrower has no idea what they mean. So when you're talking to a lender, get a loan worksheet and have them go through it with you. A lot of these lenders that are not my favorite are gonna omit certain things like a survey or particular fees. So right up front, they certainly seem a lot cheaper than maybe somebody else, but at the end, they're gonna hammer you with the fine print and the hidden fees that they didn't discuss. So make sure you're going through that loan worksheet with a fine tooth comb so there's no surprises on closing day. And if you're with a good lender, they're gonna already go over that without you having to ask. And fees for things are always changing constantly. Has anybody been a member of Netflix for more than five years? We've seen lots of changes occur. And I think loan fees are gonna go the way of a lot of that stuff. But the question I have is, has it freaked you out? Or have you already forgotten about the internet storm that happened at the end of April? Housing market has always been a moving target, and particularly now, that target seems to be moving quite a bit. And if you're curious about the health of the overall market, it may not be quite as bad as you think. I'm Lindsay Johnson, your resource for all things real estate. See you next time.